Shagari was a good man. Shagari, Shagari was a wonderful man. He's a fallen here, but he was a good man. Oh. I'm saying my own, how I see it. Do you know that the best development that ever happened in the East happened when, or should I say, after the miracle of Dr. Michael Obara, there was a period of um, decay and disaster until Shagari went in and Mbakwe went in. Mbakwe would go to Lagos to go and play with Shagari. Do you know there was no time that Mbakwe actually went to Lagos and came back empty-handed? They called him the weeping governor. But anytime he meets Shagari and asks for something, Shagari will always give it to him. Do you see that, that some of you are very small? Iguacha Enugu Expressway was very, very beautiful, I assure you. Shagari built it. Full any man. Because he had good policies. It didn't matter who was in Asoro or Koyos, in Dodam, Dodam Barracks or whatever, the State House or whatever. Rubbish, they called it then. The policies were good. Even when Mbakwe asked us to pay survival levy to build him a city port, everybody did. You can see that Mbakwe was working. It was actually a Yoruba man, the last military administrator of Imo State before Mbakwe took over. It was him that started his Inachi clay factory. A Yoruba man, a, a military administrator of Imo State. Do you know what this man did? This man, they have the same ceramic factory in his village in, in Yoruba land. I've forgotten his village. But go and Google it. The last, the last military administrator I handed over to Mbakwe. The man said, oh, I have this factory in my village. It's very good. Oh, they use clay. They make bricks. They make roof tiles. They make everything. It's wonderful. It's oh, I, now I am the military governor of Imo State. I want to do something here. The man actually started the project in Ezimnachi. A Yoruba man. Yoruba military governor of Imo State. Uh, what am I trying to prove? That it doesn't matter where you come from. The policies you pursue is what matters. A Yoruba man started the very beautiful Ezinachi factory. Mbakwe completed it. And some idiots ruined it. Turned everything upside down. Look at it today. It's moribund. What am I saying? That people must stand up to say the truth. When you see the truth, you must speak it. You know, we are black people. Some of us are very demonic. We are possessed by a demon of greed, envy, Hatred and jealousy is in us. Is we are black people. You, nobody can take it away from us. Some people must be envious. They must be jealous. They must have hatred in them. They must be horrible. That is who they are. You can't change them. But what we are preaching this very evening is that no full any group has been proscribed. The wretched chattering classes in the zoo. Uh, 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 if I talk, and I asked them which building is good in the zoo in Lagos that was destroyed. They said, oh, Samuel went to show uh, Yusuf Muhammad in Asorok, uh, the progress they're making. What buildings do you have? When you go to Dubai, you will bow in shame. What things do you have? I ask you. You have nothing. Absolutely nothing. And the revolution must come back. But it not will revolution come back. to save. If I have said it before, if people gather, if by the time Shoinka and even Tinubu was campaigning for sovereign national conference in uh, pre-1999, the Third Republic, that they actually sat down and people voted for a new constitution. Who am I? I'm a Democrat. Who am I to say no to Nigeria? I can't say no to Nigeria because even our own people voted for it. But nobody voted for Nigeria. Lugard came with Flora Shaw after drinking, drinking uh, uh, champagne in the evening. She was drunk. And uh, she said, oh, uh, darling, why don't we call people nigger? niggers? They are niggers. It's Nigeria. And they said, oh, Nigeria, Nigeria. And that's your name. And you're not ashamed of yourselves. Very sad indeed. Bland is your G, black. When it comes to IPOB, even Igbo Biafran journalists will be at the forefront of condemnation, but when Fulani attack you, kill you, molest you, rape you, cut off your heads, nothing you can hear from them. All in an effort to tarnish the very beautiful, how should I say, impeccable image of the largest mass movement on the face of this very earth. IPOB, the largest in the whole world, by no. You saw men when they came out. Camp one, camp two, camp three, men. And as I wrote yesterday, and I will remind them today, 
If you're looking for us, please, if you're looking for Eastern Security Network, go into your nearest forest and you get that answer that you're looking for. When people want to destroy us, they come into us and to look for traitors. As somebody wrote, some tribes can betray you for the 5%. <laughs> Uh, but an Igbo betrayer is 100% betrayal. That is why you have them in Edo State, in Kogi State, in Benue State. Everywhere, scattered everywhere. They come and they say to you, Oh, you are only five southeastern states. Igbo states, five southeastern states. And the idiots stupidly agreed. Leaving their bro brothers and sisters and you think that God will be happy with you. And something happened in Israel. You know, when I want to make this... Um, Comparison between Biafra and Israel. Most people don't understand it. But something happened in Israel. Do you know why Israel fell? Do you know why the Babylonians and the Romans took over Israel completely and destroyed them? Because in their stupidity, they were divided between the northern kingdom and southern kingdom. Together as one Israel, militarily, they were very, very strong. After the death of Solomon, I think um, somebody said, I forgot his name, to your tent, O Israel. After fighting a war and winning it. To your tents, O Israel. Israel was divided into two. The northern kingdom, Samaria, and the southern kingdom, Judea. And the enemies came and picked them off. It took them 2,000 years to recover from that stupidity. 2,000 years to recover from it. They come to our land. They go to Anioma. They say Anioma is not Hebrew. Even the name Anioma is Hebrew. They say they're not Hebrew. The idiots will agree. Some of them, not all of them. They go to Ikwere land. People who are from Umkwere, very clean and clear, answering Igbo names, we care, Meiji, everything. Oh, we are Niger Delta, we are not Igbo. Tell us what Niger Delta means, the idiot cannot tell you. Instead, he will hand over his brothers and sisters to Fulani Janjaweed to slaughter. The same thing that happened to Israel. It's all over the place. And the enemies came and took them over. What I'm saying to you is this. If not for IPOB, believe you me by now, some of you will be answering Musa and Amina. I'm telling you, before God and man. We are the ones that stopped them in a boy. All the years I've been telling you, we've been stopping them. You didn't believe me, did you? It's only now that we are now proving to the world what we can do. They cannot take a boy state. Omahi is a madman. They can't take a boy state. We will all die there. They can't take a boy state. And they know it anyway. They know if you stand in our way, you will go down. Today they gave you another Janjaweed slave as your Haneze president. He doesn't know where he's coming from. He doesn't know where he's going. His job is to make sure that full and settlements continues in our land. He's a learned man. He claims he's a professor. He was the ambassador to USA, ambassador to Israel. And I asked him in Israel... Who are the founding fathers in Israel? Who created Israel? Modern day Israel. Of course, it's God Almighty in heaven. Who created USA? God Almighty in heaven. He served in places where God created all those nations. He's coming back to support a project that was created by a man, a mortal flesh and named by a woman. And he's a professor. And he plans to support his good friend, uh, Ibrahim Gambari. You know, they're very close. I don't know how Fulani Janja would manage to do this to us. They always speak idiots. They get Yoruba papers and some Igbo stupid journalists to write about them glowingly. And that's it. Apex Igbo organization is in basically an extension of Fulani Yetiala Janja with organization. They kill your children. You cannot come together to form a security outfit. You want it to be state by state. But everywhere else, people band together as a region to flood security of it. Now that we have done that thing you weren't able to do, to support this is a problem. Because the masters in the north will be upset. They'll be very, very angry. Now you see how stupid some of them are. But some of you may still go ahead and support them. That is your business.